former president and Republican presumptive nominee, he spoke to supporters in Palm Beach County for about an hour. His speech focused mostly on the economy and immigration. The fact is our country is going to hell and we're going to stop it. We're going to stop it fast. Former President Donald Trump promoted himself as the best option for Americans in November on Friday night. But two people on the shortlist for Trump's vice presidential pick gave their version of stump speeches. Congressman Byron Donalds and U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. These people will stop at nothing. There is no line they won't cross, no rule they will break, no norm they won't ignore. To be an American. But people came for their choice for the presidency, Donald Trump. The former president reiterated his new commitment from earlier this week to end taxes on tips for service workers. It's so vicious what they do. And reiterated promises to increase deportations of people who are undocumented. The largest invasion in the history of our country requires the largest deportation in the history of our country. Trump also says he supports cognitive tests for officials while arguing President Joe Biden is not mentally fit. He also argued his convictions of 34 criminal accounts was rigged and vowed to hit Biden hard. The lawfare, they call it. Lawfare, warfare, weaponization, call it whatever, where they go after your political opponent. Then I hit him hard. He's the most incompetent, the dumbest. And telling people not to vote while repeating untrue claims that the 2020 election was stolen. I actually tell our people, we don't need your vote. We got so many votes, we don't need them. We just don't want to see votes stolen. We don't want to say, you know, steal the vote. We're not letting it happen. We're not going to let it happen. It's not happening again. Six members of Congress spoke tonight. I remember being here for a similar event during the primary contest in October. The only member of Congress I remember was one, and that was Matt Gates in West Palm Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.